Board coverage, the countdown to the uh, election, 15 days now until the March 5th election. And the race for Santa Cruz County Supervisor District 2, five candidates are vying for the open seat. Each of the candidates bring a, set, a different set of experiences and ideas to the race, but one candidate says he actually doesn't intend to win. Action News 8 reporter Brisa Colon has more. The diverse second district in Santa Cruz County stretches from the coastal communities of Aptos and Rio Del Mar to the agricultural areas of Coralitos and the Pajaro River Basin. It also notably includes parts of Capitola and Watsonville. Supervisor Zach Friend has held the seat since 2012, but has decided to step down and not seek a fourth term. These are the five candidates all vying for his spot. Kristen Brown, Bruce Jaffe, David Schwartz, Tony Crane and Kim DeSerpa. Kristen Brown is a fourth generation county resident. Brown currently serves on 15 different boards and commissions countywide, addressing issues like housing and transportation. This on top of her role as the current mayor of Capitola. She says her experience and passion for public policy sets her apart. I don't just know this work, I love this work. And I think that the Board of Supervisors, District 2, needs someone to, uh, to come into this role with enthusiasm and energy and a readiness to get the job done on day one, and that's something that I'm prepared to do. If elected, Brown says she plans to continue expanding on her efforts to create a positive change in her community in areas like coastal resilience, transportation, and housing. In my time on Capitola City Council in this past year, I managed to advocate for and successfully pass mobile home rent stabilization, which prevented the displacement of a number of low and limited income seniors and families who otherwise would, would potentially not have been able to stay in their homes because of uh, an exorbitant increase on the rent of their space within their mobile home. Next is Bruce Jaffe. Jaffe has a master's in oceanography and a PhD in earth sciences from UC Santa Cruz. He says his work as a professional scientist gives him an exclusive range of knowledge that makes him the best equipped to handle natural disasters. Being a, a professional oceanographer for, for 41 years, I've gone to the aftermath of disasters, tsunamis, hurricanes, storms, and so I understand what it takes to be prepared for, for disasters and what it takes to recover from disasters. Apart from his personal career, Jaffe has served 21 years on the board of the Soquel Creek Water District. He says in that time, he has proven results with more progress on the way. We're getting $100 million in grants from the state and federal agencies. And that is gonna go online later this year. And that's gonna, uh, solve the problem of seawater intrusion. It's going to protect our water supply for future generations. And if it's expanded after environmental review, it may also solve the problems of Santa Cruz and Scotts Valley. Jaffe says one of his top issues includes solving the transportation crisis in the county. He plans to make public transportation more attractive and promote working from home. Also in the running for District 2 supervisor is David Schwartz a businessman, veteran, and farmer. He says he's not a politician, rather a small business owner who hopes to apply his skills as a practicing accountant to the role of county supervisor. I am a thinker and a doer. I have ideas that just come out that help so many different people. And I've got a lot of ideas to help with the problems that we have. And I think that makes me uniquely qualified. Schwartz wishes to change the time the board meetings are held and hold them in various locations around the county to make them more accessible. He says if elected, one of his top priorities will be on getting the county to a more financially stable place. The county board of supervisors suggested that they're going to have an $85 million deficit this next year. We can't spend money we don't have. We need to figure out how to get more money but we can't be taxing our public to death. Unlike the other four candidates, Tony Crane has a different agenda. I didn't get into it to win. Crane, a longtime county resident, general contractor and owner of a mortgage business, says he's using the platform of this candidacy to get his message out there. I'm running simply to bring to the attention of the community of corruption within our county government. 
Crane says he spent the last six and a half years fighting what he calls a broken system that lacks proper checks and balances. He hopes his message resonates with people and brings folks out of a quote, politics as usual ideal. My general stance is we're not gonna solve any problems if our county officials are not honest and transparent. Hopefully this, my platform here, shows people that they need to one, pay serious attention to what's going on, and two, don't let people get away with things. Just absolutely do not. Kim DeSerpa is also running for District 2. She's a practicing healthcare social worker of more than 30 years and the current president of the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Board. DeSerpa says she ran to fill the void of female representation on the board. I've been on the board of trustees for Pajaro Valley Unified School District for the last 14 years, governing a $330 million budget. And I feel very well prepared to run for a district supervisor position. The last woman that was elected was 16 years ago. And so um, I think it's time to elect a woman to be on the board of supervisors. She says living in the rural Aptos Hills makes her the most in tune with the needs of residents living in the unincorporated areas of the county. Those of us who live in rural areas and unincorporated areas have to deal with it. Like, for example, we don't have good internet service. We don't have cell phone service. Our roads are falling apart um, and we're in wildland areas. And so all of those things are really important to me. And I want to see if we can start improving some of those services. Being a mother of six, the Serpa says children and families are her top priority. The future of this critical seat now sits with the voters. This election and others take place on March 5th. Reporting from Santa Cruz, I'm Brisa Colon, KSPW, Action News 8.